Hello everyone, Jurassic Man here today, and I will be reviewing The Lost World Allosaurus. Now, I know this is a little short as I do, but... Well, I got a few more packages coming in soon, and this guy just really came in. Now, I like Allosaurus. It's possibly my third favorite dinosaur next to Stegosaurus, and another one which I will review one day. Into the mood. This is a really good figure. I gotta say that. It's really good. This thing is not cheap. Not not cheap. This thing cost at least thirty to forty dollars on eBay. Managed to scandal one down to twenty five. How? I don't know. I managed to. I guess the guy had a kind heart. Or maybe he just felt bad for me. Or maybe he just wanted to get rid of this because this guy smells like cookies. He really does. He smells like cookies. So, let's get right to what is main feature. Because if anything, this looks like a generic dinosaur toy. It has details. Like these ridges right here. These scales. The Allosaurus has never appeared in the Lost World nor any Jurassic Park movies or novels. But it has been advertised sometimes. I like the pattern design. This pattern has this light brown, this tan color underneath, and these dark stripes going all the way down. I also like it has a green eye, as you can see right there. It has some articulations. The arms can't go 360, they could go from here to here. That's how far this arm goes, and that's how far it goes down. Leg articulations are also as well as they're hindered by the plastic. You could go all the way. Whoops. So, yeah. Let's ignore that. And let's go all the way down here. I don't want to push too far, but that's its limit. It really is a generic dinosaur toy to get. It's pretty good. I like how it has mouth articulations, and you can see inside. There you can see the other eye. It doesn't stand very well. It can only stand this far. If you lean it forward like an actual dinosaur posture, it'll just fall back on its side and fall over. Now what I see, I see that the right or the left leg is pretty loose on this dinosaur figure. And that's okay, because that's part of the feature what it comes with. Generic hand claws, they're not painted, nor the toes. But these are painted, it has a good color. Now, if anyone knows that this Allosaurus did came with a playset, like a dino autopsy or sur surgery, something like that, it's a little weird, but it comes with this play feature as... This Allosaurus holds the record of the most dino damage and probably the largest piece of dino damage in any dinosaur. It has a lot of dino damages. There's some right here on the tail. There was one. One on the tail that reveals the bones and the skin. Another one in the stomach. One on the leg. The chest comes off, bringing out the ribs, and many don't know, his legs comes off too, and that's not broken, there's organs in there, so this was meant to come off. So yeah, that's all of the dino damage pieces it could have, and it's good play wear. It has a leg. Ribs, sorry, chest, side, legs, and tail. You can really go with plenty play feature you want it to be. You know, you can make like a dino eating ground or extremely damaged. And it's very easy to simply put it back in. The ribs go up here. The little pegs down here where you can put them in. And... They just pop in like that. So does this piece. You can pop in the tail back in. You 
to pop in the legs. I hope this feature makes his leg loose, but I really don't care as long as it's good. Bring back that top leg. And there you go. You have this fully art, this really cool Allosaurus. Seems like Jurassic Park Allosaurus toys seem to be pretty okay. First two, not the last one. Maybe Mattel will make a better one. So let's get right to comparison. Let's compare it with the Lost World Velociraptor, aka repaint of the original Kenner Velociraptor. Originally retail $5. Don't believe people saying they want to offer for at least 10 or more. Don't get those. I don't know how they scale up. I know the Velociraptors scale at least the height of a human. But then again, I've seen pictures of Allosaurus much bigger than a human. I think this is a good scale. I don't have a human figure, so I can't scale that in. I should get one, but I haven't. Alright, let's compare it with the recently reviewed Kenner Red Rex. Uh, I think it scales up nicely. I really don't know. I don't know the actual size of Allosaurus. I probably should have researched that first. Or doing the video but when compared to each other T-Rex obviously outmatches it not even close to the frame and finally let's compare it with is multi-time rival as T-Rex to Triceratops uh, Stegosaurus is to Allosaurus if you have the Ceratosaurus I would have put it in here but I don't have that unfortunately now this Stegosaurus is a good toy to have, but compare with each other, I don't think they're compatible. I don't know. I think they are. You could play features. If I had a Dino Damage piece, you could see the Stegosaurus getting eaten by the Allosaurus. Maybe the Stegosaurus whips its tail on the side of the legs, falls off. So yeah. That's my review for the Kenner Allosaurus. And even though this is a pretty generic looking dinosaur toy that could be made by anyone since it's, it's hard plastic, the only parts that aren't hard plastic are its jaw, its hands are a bit of soft plastic, and its dino damage pieces which are rubber, including his tail. But with that feature, you can do whatever you want. You can make a dinosaur killing ground right here. You have a raptor feasting on his organs. Or maybe you could have a T-Rex biting down on his organs as well. Or his body. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked the review. And please tell me, is this your favorite Allosaurus variation? Or do you have... Any other Allosauruses that you like better than this one. Alright, see you guys next time.